it's massive. And we're not talking here about the planet, we're actually talking about Osho Namibia, around about this location. It's been a long time coming, but now the wait is over. The press announcement is kind of coming out today, hot off the press. Uh, Monsieur Puyane uh, must be very, very happy this evening. It's massive. Total Energies makes huge oil discovery offshore Namibia with exceptional Venus One Wildcat. This is from the uh, Upstream magazine, and um, it's probably one of the first to, to cover this story. Where is uh, Venus? Here's a map showing the Venus prospect. It's located in block 2913B. Offshore Namibia, it's actually in very deep water here, around about 3,000 metres. And this is the outline of the seismic anomaly um, that's mapped on the, on the sort of nearly 2,000 kilometre 3D seismic survey. And what it's interpreted at is, is, is a sort of a, a Cretaceous aged um, basin floor fan that's been shed off the shelf and out into the Atlantic Ocean um, back in geological time. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the terms here, strong amplitude versus ops offset anomaly, has been confirmed. And what's de-risked this prospect and made it really, really exciting and interesting is the fact that the amplitude seems to end as, uh, as, as the structure it conforms to the structural spill or closure. And so this is, uh, this is a, a, a good indicator to de-risk um, um, prospects. To just have a look at the size of this thing, uh, it's quoted as being of, of the order of about 600 square kilometres. Now, if you can think of that as a 10 kilometre wide by 60 kilometre long um, uh, feature, in short, it is absolutely huge. And if there's any appreciable thickness of pay, this could prove to be a giant oil field. I mean, it's very, very exciting. This is what it looks like. Um, here's the anomaly here. This is Venus up in the north. Uh, there is a sort of an up-dip pinch out. So it's a stratigraphic play. And you can see, um, we've seen in different places it being um, described as Albion or Aptian. Uh, time will tell when the analysis of the drill cuttings is done and we can actually understand the stratigraphic age of this anomaly. Then we'll know for sure. But uh, there are a lot of other anomalies out here, as you can see, and I'm sure these will be studied in the uh, weeks and months and years to come. But uh, this is what Venus looks like on this particular section here. Pre-drill resource estimates suggesting it could be as much as 1.5 billion barrels of oil. Well, you know, time will tell. Um, we caveat uh, with everything that uh, one discovery well does not a giant oil field make, and Total Energies have been involved in a couple. Glen Dronick and, and Glen Gorm recently were. Uh, there, were um, there were announcements that uh, this was an amazing discovery, and subsequent appraisal well drilling um, wasn't quite as uh, didn't quite live up to the the banner headline but uh, this one looks very 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 exciting so uh, a basin floor fan with a direct hydrocarbon indicator conforming to structural closure so this is the soft event here this is TGS seismic and you can see the stratigraphic pinch out up dip here and, and this brightening here may well be due um, to, to hydrocarbon over and above a uh, lithology effect so the birth of Venus it's uh, it's a licensed PEL 56 and Total Energies uh, are the operator of the block with 40% equity um, <clears throat> pre farm down to uh, uh, Qatar Petroleum, uh, we understand it may have been that there, were, uh, there was a small promote to be paid on that, but Qatar Petroleum was subsequently uh, farmed in with 30% impact oil and gas. We kind of worked this uh, prospect up in the early days, 20%. Congratulations to those guys. And to Africa Oil, who um, actually have 30% of the stake in impact. The N Namibian uh, National Oil Company, Namcor, uh, also has a 10% stake in this. So really exciting times for all these companies. Um, this is just a, a quick look in and around the area. So here is the Venus One well. It's uh, hot on the heels of Shell's discovery in the next door block, Graph One. Um, and uh, it's really been decades since the Kudu gas field was found up dip, and there really hasn't been very much. There's a small discovery here, but uh, there hasn't really been uh, a great uh, deal of success uh, to, to talk about on the uh, Namibia 
a continental shelf until now. Um, you can see uh, there's, there's other players. In fact, um, just highlighting some of the players and some of the blocks around. So the investors amongst you uh, might want to be looking at uh, some of the some of these companies as a potential follow up uh, investment. But uh, that's your decision uh, and and this is uh, this is the gulp block in here so you can see on this map here uh, you can see that uh, venus is down here the shell graph one located just in the next door block here uh, here's gulp here's the tullow block and it could actually the the whole play is opened up it could include the pancontinental um, opportunity or, or, or a turbidite complex that's mapped here at Saturn uh, in, in block uh, 2713 A and B. So um, what's happening? Well, Shell have already, as we understand it, has, uh, have or are about to spud the, the graph appraisal well. Total Energies will be very keen to follow up the appraisal to confirm the size of the, the Venus discovery. But let's bear in mind, these are ultra deep water wells and they need a significant amount of uh, lead time to, to drill these safely. We are talking about 3000 meters or thereabouts uh, water depth. So um, we wish them every success in that appraisal program. The word exceptional, fantastic news um, we did recently put out a uh, a video on the uh, the graph discovery the the links to that uh, will be uh, underneath this and um, what are the immediate steps well uh, still on location is the Maersk Voyager, this drill ship here, which drilled the well. And uh, we anticipate that there may well be a, a drill stem te test to, to confirm what are the fluid types, what's the composition, are there any, are there any issues, um, and hopefully not. It's a, it's a really high quality crude oil that's being found, but time will tell. There will be um, lots and lots of press releases in days to come, and endless regurgitations to follow in weeks and months ahead um, uh, that's uh, that's just a thing now in social uh, social media but if you really want to keep up to date with developments here and actually find the background story to what's going on consider subscribing uh, just hit this subscribe button it's just down to the right of this video and if you do that you'll be informed when we come out with a, an update and we'll correct any errors if we've made them in this. So if you want to get in touch, there's the email. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. You'll then be notified. And there's the website. Thank you very much for listening. I look forward to the next time. Stay, stay safe. Thank you.